A cubicle block of ice, 51 centimeters on an edge, is placed on a level floor over a speck of dust. Locate the image of the speck when viewed from directly above. If the index of refraction of ice is 1.309, so what is the uh, image of the speck centimeters above the upper surface of the ice? And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the modified mirror equation, the one, the, so the equation for for uh, lenses. So n, the the index of refraction of the first area over p plus n2 over q is equal to n2 minus n1 over r. Now, um, for a flat surface, so we have we, we don't really have a lens. We have a flat surface, and so the flat surface can act as a lens. The difference is the radius, as the surface becomes more and more flat, the radius approaches infinity. So the radius is infinitely far away from the object. So this simplifies, so n1 over p plus n2 over q is equal to n2 minus n1 over infinity. Now, any number divided by infinity, as the denominator approaches infinity, the total answer approaches zero. So this is equal to zero. So that means that we can, we can set n1, n1 over p. If we subtract n2 over q, we get is equal to negative n2 over q. So we want to solve for q, and we just take the inverse of both sides. I'm going to do all this in one step. The inverse of both sides and divide by n2. And it's going to be negative, so I'm going to divide by the negative as well. So that's going to equal q. Now what is p? It says that, um, so p is the, the distance of the object from the upper surface. So it tells me that my cube is 51 centimeters on an edge, so p is going to be 51 centimeters. Uh, and it's sitting on top of the speck. Now, in it tells us for ice, um, N1. So N1 is going to be the index of refraction for air. And actually, I used air, even though you can assume that it's 1. I actually used 1.000293. 1 Just, uh, I don't know if WebAssign likes that better or not. Um, then you divide that by the index of refraction for ice, which is, uh, um, I think it tells us in the problem, ice is 1.309 and then you multiply that fraction by p which is 51 centimeters and you should get that q is equal to 38.97245 centimeters hey thanks for watching make sure you check out my blog the link is down in the about section of this video and on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter and you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.